Diana Dara here, ra, ra, ra. a wee bit of inspiration for you today for your decluttering or your cleaning and I'm re really excited, I'm going to tell you my latest item for my wardrobe, a pair of white Dr. Martens. I haven't had a pair of Dr. Martens I think in about 40, uh, 40 years ago was that the last time I bought a pair of Dr. Martens. So anyway, uh, more on that in a wee minute, but let's get into the, the, the basics first. We're, we're working on Fly Lady Zone for this week, which is uh, the master bedroom, wardrobe, maybe you've got an ensuite bathroom. And remember, with, with the Fly Lady thing, we're, we're, we're just taking things at a gentle pace. Before you start doing any decluttering or cleaning, set a timer or before you start watching the anything on the internet. Just go for, for 10 or 15 minutes. Just, you know, work on one drawer, one shelf in your wardrobe, one box of things. We're, we're not going overboard with, with, with things. And I've got my little list and that kind of keeps me on track. And I, I really love the, the zone system in Fly Lady because I've been doing Fly Lady for uh, probably 15, 15, 16 years. And it just helps me to, to keep moving forward. I'm concentrating on one area at a time and then next week I move on to something else. And it keeps us aware of what we've got in each area instead of getting, getting stuck. What I'm going to be doing this week is concentrating on clothes. I'm going to take another look at what I have in my wardrobe because I'm going to a swap party at the end of the week. <laughs> I know you all love the, the swap parties. And I've already found uh, some books and things like that to declutter. But this week I'm going to be looking at uh, accessories and clothes. And I don't expect to find much. I've been using the, the uh, Dressing Your Truth system for the last three years. And that has given me a capsule wardrobe. Now I've, I made a video about it. I've, I've been doing Dressing Your Truth for, for three years. And what I've discovered is that I now have a capsule wardrobe that takes me through all four seasons, and we have four very distinct seasons here in Denmark, without having to change up things uh, every season. You, you know, and I'm sure you've seen plenty of uh, seasonal wardrobe things for uh, autumn and for fall at the moment. I don't need to do that because my wardrobe takes me through all four seasons. I, I just uh, layer up, layer down, and obviously there'll be a few items like very, very light cotton dresses that I only wear um, when it's really, really baking hot here in the summer. And then uh, winter boots and uh, thermal clothes, which I wear when, you know, when we get to below freezing. So with those exceptions, the, the, the dressing your truth, I, I'm a type one secondary four. That gives me a, a really good wardrobe that I can use for, for all occasions. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm getting a, a really good uh, hang of it now and I'm getting very, very precise about what I like and what I don't like. And it doesn't really matter what you use for your wardrobe, if you do a capsule wardrobe, if you don't do a capsule wardrobe. One of the main things is that we, we need to just look after our clothes. You can think about uh, washing the shoelaces, if you've got, uh, if you wear sneakers like, like I do, polish uh, your boots. We're coming into the, the autumn here in Denmark and I was actually wearing my, my gloves. Uh, and my ear warmers went when I cycled down to the sea this morning from a skinny dip in the sea. The temperatures are really falling here. And one of the things that I, I've been doing the last few years, when I started doing the Dressing Your Truth system, I had some things that don't work for me. Like uh, I had some black boots. These were originally black, my, my Chelsea boots. And you can use leather paint to change up the colour of things. You don't even need to change up the colour. Maybe you've got a really nice leather handbag. It's getting a wee bit scuffed. You can prep it and paint it. And yes, it doesn't wash off anything like that. It gives that kind of protective coating. So these started off life as uh, black. They're, they're really comfy ones. They're, they're um, wonders. They're wonder uh, from the, I think they're Spanish company wonders. And I've had these for four or five years. Then I did them navy blue and then I decided, no, actually I like chocolate brown for, for my winter boots. Used leather paint for that. I've also used white leather paint uh, on my sneakers to keep them looking good. But I was going to tell you about the addition to my wardrobe this year. And I'm finding that I really, um, I really like the contrast, the high contrast as a type 1-4. I like the high contrast. In the winter, I really enjoy wearing winter white and white 
for my overcoats, for my, for my outerwear. And I thought this year, oh, you know what? It's been a long time since I got a new pair of boots and I wanted to buy a new pair of boots, but I, I just wasn't feeling it for the, the navy or the, or the brown. And I thought, well, maybe I can find a white pair. And <laughs> bingo, I found these ones from Dr. Martens. Now, anybody in the UK, if you were uh, into punk music like I was when I was a teenager, you had to have a pair of Dr. Martens. And Dr. Martens, they are indestructible. My daughter got a pair of Dr. Martens, I think about three or four years ago when we were uh, in Edinburgh. Uh, my daughter's a, a type four. And when, when we, we showed them to my mum, uh, who you saw in my last video, my mum was like, oh, oh, you know, she's got her first pair of Dr. Martens. Like it's a real <laughs> rite of passage getting your first Dr. Martin boots. And I had, when I was a teenager, I had a pair, I didn't have the boots, I actually had Dr. Martin shoes in uh, black and I had uh, also an oxblood colour. And they're, they're, those were quite clumpy and heavy, they're, they're, they're much actually lighter now. They, and these ones are beautiful, soft, uh, white, you can see that there, uh, with, the, uh, bouncing, with the bouncing soles, great for a, a type one like me, I'm bouncy. The, the Dr. Martens that I had, I kept them and I kept them, I wasn't wearing them, and I ended up giving them to one of the assistants in my kid's nursery. She collected Dr. Martens. She was the same size as me and she, and she took them. So, you know, the, the Dr. Martens, they have a kind of real uh, history about them. So I am loving, uh, loving these. I, and there are lots of different types of Dr. Martens. I actually tried some patent ones, which I thought might be good because it would kind of be like wearing uh, welly boots or boots, but they were really, really stiff and they weren't comfortable. These ones were comfy straight out the box. So I am super, super excited about my Dr. Martens. Do you have a pair of Dr. Martens? What age were you? Do you, st do you still have them? But honestly, they're indestructible. And otherwise, in, in this area, in, in the bedroom, think about what you've got. Have you got lots of uh, makeup that you're kind of hanging on to? You, you never use it. Maybe you've got uh, lots and lots of nail varnishes. I've discovered that um, while I like the look of lighter polishes, I, my, I keep on going back to two of my, my classic nail varnish colours, uh, which is kind of pinky red. I've also got a, a coral one and this kind of peachy orange one because as a type 1-4, I don't like too much going on in my outfit, but I do like to have a bright uh, lipstick and bright nails. And think about that with, with your clothes this week. If you've got clothes that you're, you're kind of in the wardrobe, you're not wearing them, Try them on and wear them. I, I always uh, call it having my, my clothes on probation. Maybe I've had an item, I've had it for a long time and I haven't been wearing it. And I can see in my wardrobe what I'm not wearing because I've done that thing where, you know, you turn around the coat hangers. And then I say to it, okay, right, <laughs> this item is going on probation. And I wear it, I usually wear it at the weekend if I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not um, having meetings with customers, you know, because then I want to wear something I'm feeling confident and good in. But it's an item that I haven't worn for a long time. It goes on probation and very quickly after a couple of hours of wearing, I can say, you know what, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not feeling it. It doesn't work for me anymore and I can let it go. Or sometimes I think, oh, actually, I forgot how, how good this uh, works and I can keep it. So take the probation item. If you've got lots and lots of nail varnishes, you know, wear, wear them, uh, you know, tr try a, a colour that you haven't worn for a while this week. Maybe you'll discover that you love it. Maybe you've been hanging on to it for so long that it's all dried up and it doesn't work. You know, everything has a, a shelf life. And last week I was working down in the basement. You saw me decluttering coat hangers. I also decluttered some camping gear. We also decluttered quite a lot of uh, pillows and duvets. The kids have taken what they need. And I've got even more hangers going out. And uh, I had quite a few ask, uh, questions about what kind of hangers I do like. But these were ones that we were using for uh, hanging up the washing downstairs. The ones that I like to use in my bedroom here in the wardrobe. I like the white wooden ones. The, these are IKEA ones. 
And when, when an item of clothing gets to go in one of these hangers, it's a bit like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, you know, when you get the golden ticket. If an item is really, really good and it's, it's one of my kind of uh, wardrobe uh, workhorses, it gets to go in one of these hangers. And otherwise, tops uh, and things, that they, they go in these white plastic ones that I have from Ikea. So that way I can easily see where, which are the items that are real uh, keepers and staples in my wardrobe. And here's an item that I'll be decluttering actually today. This is one that came from a clothes swap. I've had fun with that, I've worn it a few times, but I found that, it, I, again, it doesn't have enough structure uh, for me. I, I like clothes which are a bit more structure, which hold their shape. So this one is going back. Uh, this is a sweater that I really like. This one is getting a shave today. I'm not shaving my face, I'm shaving my sweater today. I have one of these wool shavers. Uh, my one is from Philips. And it, it's a great way if you to kind of renew a sweater. Maybe it's got a bit bobbly. And I just spend a couple of minutes giving it a quick shave and then it looks like new again. And some other items that I already found this morning when I was uh, putting away laundry. This was also um, a t-shirt that came from the clothes swap. Let me just show you. And again, I've had fun with it. I've worn it a few times, but it's not fitted enough. Uh, and while it was quite nice to wear underneath a blazer, it's not something that I need to hold on to. So that's going back to the swap. Maybe you find some items in your wardrobe this week that are a bit higher end, that you, you don't want to take to the, the charity shop. What I've been doing with our things since the spring is uh, I've been trading in some of the clothes that we have that I had, also my son and my daughter's clothes, my husband's clothes. We can trade them in at uh, a company called Zalando. It's somewhere that we buy uh, clothes online and they give you credit for your clothes. And I've I started doing it in May and I think I'm on to like my fifth box of things that I'm sending off to them. You, type in what the item is, you put in a picture and they will say which price they will give you for it. And then if you're happy with that, you pop it in a box, they, they pay for the shipping, they check things, obviously it needs to be in really good condition not that with all the, the labels still intact so that people can see uh, the washing instructions, for example. And then they will give you credit for it. And what I've done with the credit is buy the Dr. Martens. And I also bought something. They are selling secondhand clothes on their site now. And I, I picked up this. Uh, and this is from uh, Max Mara. And it's something that I've been looking for a while. I like this style of kind of Chanel style uh, jackets. I've got uh, a cream one and a white one. And this was in a really nice uh, pink and I, I got this second hand, so that's what I'm using my credit for, is to um, get new underwear for the family, pyjamas, things like that. And I'm, I'm able to let go of more things that aren't working for us and get some credit for it. So that might be an option for you, but don't go down that rabbit hole of trying to sell everything that you have. For me, I'm not wanting to sell every last thing and I, I don't want to get into having a stand, a flea market, things like that. So that works really well for me. And of course, most of my things goes straight to the swap party. And if you've got an item where maybe the color isn't working for you or the buttons aren't working for you, don't, don't be scared to, to try things. I got this coat at one of the, the swap parties, I think two years ago, maybe going on three years ago. And it was a very, very bright yellow with black buttons, kind of like a kind of bumblebee look. And I changed the buttons. I really liked uh, having the, the white and the yellow. But I, I came to realize that the yellow of it, it was more of a type four yellow. It had a real kind of bite to it. It was very, very, you know, in your face. And last week, my, my daughter said to me, oh, mom, that coat is really, really over, over the top yellow. And I thought, yeah, it's, it is type four. And I was thinking, well, maybe I should take it to, to the swap party. And then I realized, gosh, I, I've been doing a lot of uh, dyeing things, changing the color of shoes. So actually I gave this a bleach bath and it's taken the bite out of the yellow. I really like the style of the coat. I like it's got a big collar. It's great for cycling down to the sea in the morning. 
also the, the cars, the motorists uh, will see me. But I almost gave it away because, oh, the, the colour wasn't right there. You can do lots of things, you can bleach things, you can um, dye things in your washing machine. I've done that many times. I've got lots of videos on my playlist of, uh, it's called Dressing Your Truth Wardrobe. And you can see me painting the leather items and things that I've changed up. I hope that gave you a wee bit of inspiration. What are you going to do this week? Maybe you can look through accessories, nail varnish, makeup, your winter coats. If you are in the southern hemisphere, maybe it's time for you to look through your summer things. Are there things that you're really not going to wear? Polish your shoes, put some new outfits together. Once you're done, T take a little break, put something nice on your dressing table, a little flower, or a plant or a candle and that's it. So anyway, I, I need to get running. Live long and prosper. May the Danish hoogie be with you and I'll see you very soon. Ra, ra, ra. Okay, bye for now.